As the years go by, the car becomes a witness to even more family fun. Consider the mother who was told that having a daughter who could drive would be a blessing. Now consider the daughter who, up until now, believed everything a mother did, she did out of love. I'm not a well woman, Debbie, you know that. After your brother was born 15 years ago, our last baby, the doctor said I would experience periods of tension and depression. I am tense and depressed now. What are you doing? Putting the key in the ignition. Don't touch a thing in this car until I tell you. First, I want you to relax. You cannot drive a car gripping the door handle with the whites of your knuckles showing. You're the one gripping the door handle. <laughs> That's what I said. Just relax and put all anxieties about driving out of your mind. Forget that behind the wheel of this car, you are a potential killer. That you are maneuvering a ton of hard, cold steel which you can wrap around a telephone pole just by closing your eyes to sneeze. Are you relaxed? I think so. All right now, let's go over the checklist. Do you have flares in the trunk for when you get a flat tire? Yes. Do you have your cell phones? You can call AAA when the motor stops dead on you? Yes. Do you have your license so you can show it to the nice officer when he stops you for violating some traffic law? Yes, Mother. All right, then. Just turn the key and at the same time step on the gas. Aren't you going to fasten your seatbelt? Are you crazy? I may want to get out of here quickly. <laughs> Let's just get on with it. Just gently touch the accelerator. Like this? Hold it! Stop the car! <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. The radio has to be off. There is not enough room in this car for you, me, and Beyonce. Someone's gotta go. I'm supervising, so it can't be me. Beyonce's just singing. She's expendable. Now, just relax and push on the accelerator. Any idiot can drive. I do it every day. Just ease along, unwind, hang loose. And don't think about the drunk over the hill waiting to slam head first into you. What are you doing now? Stopping the car. What for? There is a stop sign. <laughs> but why are you stopping back here? That stop sign is 40 feet away, for crying out loud. Pull up, pull up, give it a little gas. <laughs> Go ahead, no, wait! Do you realize you almost sent me through the windshield? I guess I'm not used to the brakes yet. Sorry. I know. Neither was Sylvia's daughter. Remember, I told you about her. Her mother was teaching her how to drive. She took off so fast, she gave her mother whiplash. I think she's out of traction now. Her daughter's wonderful, though. Never complains when she has to adjust her mother's brace or drive her to the doctor. Now then, where are we? It, it looks all right. Just sneak out, and you're too close to my side of the road. We're all tensed up. Maybe if we pulled over to the curb here and relaxed a bit, you're doing fine. It's just that you lack experience. Like when you approach a car, you have to remember that anything on, the, on his side of the line belongs to him. We can't be greedy, can we? Are you relaxed? Good. Just put your signal on and enter the stream of traffic. Not too fast now. But if they want to go over 25 miles an hour, let them. The cemeteries are full of people who passed. Do you suppose you could teach me how to park? To what? To park. There's nothing to it. You just go into the shopping center, make a small right angle, and there you are. When your tires bump the concrete island, then you stop. No, I meant parallel park. You know, between two cars? One in front, one in back. Where did you hear talk like that? You're driving 10 minutes and already you want to get cute with it. Sounds like a wonderful way to get your fenders dented, Missy. Our driver's ed teacher says it's part of the road test. So, the driver's ed teacher is smarter than your mother? Then why isn't she sitting here getting stomach cramps? What's the trouble with teachers today? No guts. I think we're getting tired, Debbie. I have a headache and an overwhelming need for some Pepto-Bismol. Let's head back home, okay? There's a pamphlet I want you to read on highway statistics compiled on Labor Day.